When a magician does his tricks, it looks fascinating. You wonder how they pull off those tricks. Similar is the case with PowerPoint design as well. You wonder how those designers make their slides look so cool, yet no matter how hard you try, your slides look kind of meh. Today I'll share three simple tricks PowerPoint designers use to make their slides pop. The best part is these tricks are so simple that even beginners in PowerPoint can follow them and create magic in their slides. So did I get you excited? <laughs> Great, let's jump right in. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. The first trick they use is they are not scared to scale. Now take a look at this normal slide. Here we have the picture of a person. This is a slide about customer testimonial. And here we have the testimonial written. The slide looks okay, but it doesn't really catch the attention of the viewer. Now take a look at the same slide when you scale the photo. Can you see here? The photo is really large and then the customer testimonial is placed on the side and that gives this an interesting look. Of course, you need to have a picture with high resolution to get this effect. Also notice that a part of the picture is bleeding out and as a result, it looks organic. The way you do that is you pick the picture. I got this picture from insert pictures and stock images and I found this option in cutout people. When you go to cutout people and look for Sherry, you would find this image. So that is where I got the picture. Now to close crop it, all you need to do is to select the picture, go to picture format, go to crop and then crop it very close like this. Then click outside, then place it to the corner and then click and drag so it occupies the entire slide and then make sure that a part of the picture is outside the slide area. Now when you go to slideshow, this is how the picture looks. Here the focus is on the person. This technique works quite well when you have to quote a celebrity. The status of the celebrity adds credibility to the statement. The second trick they use is they are not afraid to break the mold. Now take a look at this slide. Can you see that the picture here is not a regular shape like a rectangle, circle, etc. It has its own organic shape. Now take a look at the regular way this slide is made. Here you can see a rectangular picture and the text is right at the top left corner. This slide looks like a million other slides that are normally made. Now how did I achieve this effect? It's fairly simple. I just went to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Lines tool, I picked up this one called as Curve Tool. And then I just clicked and then dragged it to create some kind of an odd shape. Can you see here? There is no real science to this. You just can go berserk. And once you are happy with it, this is an irregular shape. Then you right click on the shape, go to format shape and then increase the transparency ever so slightly. Once we have the picture and the shape set up, you select the picture, hold the shift button down and select this organic shape and say shape intersect. That is how we create this different kind of a shaped picture. Now, how did I achieve these two organic shapes? It's very simple again. I just took the same shape, increased the size a little bit, turned it around a little and this is one of those shapes. If I right click and bring it to front, you would notice that it is just the same shape. I then send it to back and this again is another copy of this shape. I just flipped it around and kept it to one side. Now when I go to slideshow, this is how the design looks. Of course, I can add a darker background to give this whole thing a beautiful look. Now where did I pick these three colors from? It's very simple. I picked this color from this place here and this color from this place and this color is picked from the hair of this girl. So by picking the color palette right from inside the photo, this slide looks harmonious. Now talking about using irregular shapes, this is one of the examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle and we have a different type of paint splash effect as well. These are some simple examples to show you how to make your slides stand out by using irregular shapes. The last trick for today is designers create symmetry to make their slides pop. Now take a look at this slide. We have a photo and then some text. Now this slide doesn't really look attractive. Now see how we can make symmetry work in our favor by using a simple grid. This is the after version. All we did is we superimposed this grid on top of the earlier slide. 
Once again, it's fairly simple to create this grid. Can you see here? This is nothing but just these three lines which were created using nothing but a simple rectangular bar. I went to Auto Shapes Gallery, picked up the rectangle tool and then drew a very thin bar like so and then went to Shape Outline, No Outline and gave this a dark color and then made a copy of this by using Ctrl D option and then again Ctrl D. So I created a grid kind of a thing here and once it is done, I selected everything and press Ctrl G to create a group and press Ctrl D and then rotated it to right 90 degrees and then made a grid like this. Now I'm sure you know a million ways to make a grid. This is just a small example. Now the best part about using grids is you can create a content slide like this and also a title slide like this. Can you see here I've used custom animation to make sure that this grid really comes to life. Of course, you can choose the photos to match your content. And also you can vary the transparency of the various elements and make sure that the slide design really looks attractive. Of course, these are all examples taken from our comprehensive all-in-one bundle. Of course, it is nice to look at these kind of slides, no doubt. But these kind of designs are usually used for marketing slides. If you have a content rich presentation full of data, graphs, text, etc., you need to follow a very different style. Do you want me to send you exclusive free mini trainings on PowerPoint tips, tricks and techniques directly to your email inbox? Then click on the link in the bottom right of your screen and join our 25 creative PowerPoint ideas free mini training course. Then you will automatically be part of our Success by PowerPoint newsletter and receive more such mini trainings on an ongoing basis.